Cody here with gunghodogtraining.com and in today's video we're going to go over the basics of teaching a young dog, a puppy, how to sit, stand, and lay down. And there's a progression to all three of these. So make sure you pay attention. If you're new here, push the subscribe button in all the way if you're on YouTube and click the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Also, if you're on Facebook, make sure you like our page, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and make sure you check out gunghodogtraining.com. I have a free beginner obedience guide on there. I also have a free uh, daily video series that I will send directly to your inbox with dog training tips and tricks, and it's all on gunghodogtraining.com. Today we're working with Oakley, who is a silver lab, uh, super young pup. Let's see, October, November, December, January, February. He's right around four or five months old. I'd say five months old. And he doesn't know a lot of in much. I mean, he knows sit a little bit, uh, but this is my second session working with him. And basically what I do is before meal time, I'll take his food and he gets really interested. So he's food motivated, he's, he's hungry, it's about lunch time, and I got his lunch right here for him. And so I'm gonna make him work for his lunch. Now I always teach a specific order of how I teach these three different uh, uh, cues, at sit, down, and stand, because, mostly because of the down. If you teach down following sit, it creates a lazy down. If you teach down following stand, it creates a more, um, a just a more clean down and a quicker down for the dog. Uh, let's see if we can get Oakley to sit. So I'm gonna shake the can a little bit. I'm gonna show him that I have a piece of food. I'm just gonna lift it up. Good. As soon as he gets to the behavior, I say good. Uh, that's a, a marker. I mark the behavior. Good. And I'm not saying sit yet. Uh, I'm just luring him with a piece of food. The next would be, since he's in the sitting position, would be to have him stand. And how you lure a dog into a stand out of a sit is you just I gotta get him back into a sit again. He's really having a fun time with the leash there. There you go, bud. Okay. So let's put him back into a sit. Good. Good. And then the stand, you just hold it right out here. Pull him forward just a little bit. You got it. So he's having a hard time lifting up his bum to come forward to get it. So there'll be some times where he'll, uh, the dog will come right forward and they'll stand right up and you wanna mark that behavior. Right now he's having a hard time uh, standing up. So what I'm gonna do is trying to go into a down. You could put him into a sit, good. I'm gonna give him that piece of food since it had been a little bit of time. I'm gonna try to lure him to stand and if he's not standing I can take I can take my foot as long as he's not distracted by it he's almost there nope nope Oakley he's got to figure it out I can't force him through it. If he figures it out on his own, it'll be a lot better. Stand, good, good boy, good. I'm gonna try to capture this while he's standing. Stand, good. Oops, right here, there you go. Good boy, good boy. Now that he's standing, we can see if we can get him into a down. 
and then just take the piece of food, put it right by his front legs and see how he spun around like that. I, d I don't like that. I want him to go straight down, so I, I pulled the, the piece of food away. So now we're back to the seated position. We try to lure him into a stand. Good. Good. What I was going to say before is if they're having a hard time standing like this, you can take your foot and just put your foot underneath them like this. And if they get... There he goes. Right there. It just helps them stand. Now let's see if we can go into a down. I'm going to wait. Boom. Right there. Good. Good boy. That's a good boy. I'm going to go back up into a sit. Oh, that was awesome. Let's see if we can get a stand out of you. Good. And a down. So I'm saying, I'm saying sit, stand, down for you guys right now. Initially with the pup, I won't say it all. I'm just using the piece of food, working through all this. And then as the dog gets to the point where they kind of know what we're doing, like his sit is really good. Then I'll start saying sit. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like now. Sit. Good. Good. Stand. Good. Good boy. Down. Nope. I don't want to spin. I want to stand. Down. Good. Good. A little bit sloppy. There you go. Good job. Oakley, sit. Good. Good. Oakley, stand. Good boy. Good boy. Oakley down. I don't want to spin from you. Oakley down. Boom. Good. Good boy. That's a good boy. So that's really how you teach a young pup to sit, stand, and down. And you just repeat that process over and over and they'll get more and more used to it. Now Oakley's not at this point yet, but as he gets better, I will get to the point where I'll say sit and I won't even have the piece of food in my hand. He'll sit and then I'll go and grab a piece of food and give it to him. So the time between when he completes the behavior and when I give him the reward will gradually get farther apart, but the time where he completes the behavior and I say good will always be the same. I'll always say good the moment that he completes the behavior. And that's super important because it's marking it for him knowing that for in his mind, okay, I did what he asked me to do. And that's gonna be super important. So try that out with your pup. Tell your pup I say hi and we'll see you in the next one. Check out another one of my videos. I'd love for you to watch another one while you're while you're here.